Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see today I have a new planner here. This is my like school planner that I got from Target. It's just like a small little planner like this and I decided I wanted to do a plan with me in it because I thought it would be cool. It's horizontal which is different and it's really quite small. It starts in June and then ends in June because it's you know, school planner, but I decided to just go to a month, I mean a week in July, and kind of just fill in stuff. I'm going to use this kit here from Hurricane Randy. It's like a mini kit. I thought it would be cool to use that, and I'm going to get started. So first there's bottom washi, but I mean there's not really a bottom, so I decided I'm going to put it up at the top here and cover up the monthly part and then maybe I'll end up like putting in just writing in the dates let's see this is my first time ever doing anything in this planner I haven't really even thought about what I'm gonna do so this is just gonna be kind of winging it oh and that fits perfectly on this side this one's going to be a little bit longer but I'm just going to cut it down I think I will probably post this video on Friday let's hope um, I'm just kind of in the mood to film and I'm at home on Thanksgiving break so I actually have time to film and I am kind of always slacking on actually putting videos up on time. I actually kind of want to make this look like a flag. So let's see if I can pull, I kind of like pulled up the whole thing. I actually have my undo with me, but I don't feel like getting it. But I want to make this look like an arrow. Let's see how straight I can cut this. Actually, shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to put it back. See, this just proves that I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to put that back and just leave it. Because at first I was going to make it into an arrow, but you can see it. You can see the July and June part if you do that. So I'm just going to leave it. Next, I want to take these headers and put them like here over the days of the week and I think I'm going to use the to do's for that because then underneath that I could like make a list I think that would be cool and I don't think I'm going to use a checklist I'm just going to like bullet in stuff that I can write in that looks good I think and I mean I might later go in and actually write in the dates on the other side but I don't really think that's necessary Especially since this is like a mock plan with me, so I'm not actually going to be planning in this, but maybe if it was for the week I was actually using, I would go in and put the dates in, but I mean, at the same time, it's like this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, so like, I wouldn't necessarily have to put in the dates. I have, maybe I could use these half boxes, like, underneath the to-dos. Like do a few bullets up here and then put a half box at the very bottom to put in some more information. This planner doesn't really have like a notes or sidebar sort of area, but I think that that's okay. You don't really have to always have that. I like the way this looks. I think it's super pretty so far hmm, I don't know if I want to use one of these on these two days just because there's not really any space I might leave it I might put it in later next I'm gonna take these full boxes and I believe they should fit vertically in all the um, and all the spaces and this kit is made for the Erin Condren vertical but these horizontal 
boxes are like super thick so it works out. I was thinking I wanted to put a little things over here. Actually, I'm not going to put the full boxes on the weekend because I think the boxes are too small and it looks kind of strange. So I'll put this one like here. I can't put it straight for some reason. I guess because there's not a box to outline. I just kind of have to like make my own box. And then use a little things header over that. On the weekends, they're kind of blank. I think I'm going to take two half boxes and then just put those in the corner as kind of like a little things area instead of using the full boxes since the space is smaller. But I still want to have like a sort of notes, like things that are happening. And there's also the weekend banner, which I mean, I guess I can just put it here. That works out. And I have these flags that I could use in the middle maybe to put in stuff. That look weird to like have them coming down. No, I don't think I want to do Actually, I could, what I think I'll do is put these and then like actually write in the dates on these little parts. Because I mean, I'll know that it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I won't, I might forget the actual like number. On these two, I could just kind of put it in the corners to the side. There, and there's another kind of big flag. Maybe I'll just put it up here since I have an extra one. It's like a little something special. I also have this half box, and with this half box, I could put it here and then put the month. It's so like put July in there. And I believe that's it. There's, oh, there's a few deco on here that I could use. Let's see, I'm trying to find places to put it. it I think that's really cute quite simple and easy but it just adds a little something extra to this planner I like that it's you know two pages you can look at it really quickly I think this would also be a really good sort of like personal size to put in your purse or something like that but yeah I think that's super cute I like it a lot and I might end up doing more plan with me's like this from the kit I ended up with these today headers I didn't use those and then a few full boxes but yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and leave comments you can follow me on Instagram it's in the description box below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye